Hi everyone, it's Julia. I received this in Happy Mail, this beautiful piece of fabric collage, and I shared it this edging with um, in a previous video, and I'm gonna sh link that up above and down below for you. This edging is, a, is just a wonderful way to um, finish off a little mini art quilt. This is has batting in it or fiber or some kind of um, stabilizer, but it folds perfectly into this little clutch. And so that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna share with you today how I finished it off and how I added um, a, a strap to it. I'm gonna just put these large snaps on and I'm just gonna hand stitch these in place. Just sew up those side seams first and just adding some clips to get to keep that in place. When I sew this, I'm gonna go back and forth several times right at that stress part, right at that opening. I'm just gonna take my, my little ruler and I'm gonna measure right in the center so I get those, those snaps put in the right spot. I'm just sharing my new thimble. I have struggled trying to find a thimble that I like, um, and this one is this one's good. It's it doesn't sweat as bad as some of them, and it's not as bulky. Somewhat adjustable. I did. I went with a size small. Um, I've just found find that I've never been really good at hand stitching, but as I get older, it's getting it's just getting worse. My hands aren't aren't just just don't have the movement that they used to, um, and so this this thimble is it's it is working for me. I found this piece of fabric in my stash. It's a patik fabric, and I think it's gonna work really well for the straps. I'm, I decided I'm going to use um, fabric tubes that are filled with a yarn to create my straps, and I'm gonna use my fast turns to do this. I purchased these fast turns many, many years ago at a sewing expo. And they are an investment. Um, I'm glad that I have them. I use them quite a bit for different things. This is another little gadget though that's a real simple thing that you can also use in the same way. It just has a little hook at the end. Or of course just a safety pin will work as well. In the fast turn directions it does tell you how wide you should cut your strips um, depending upon how big around you want your tubes. I went with a one and a half inches for my strips and I do want them to be 56 inches long because I want this to be worn cross body. So I cut two strips and I'm having to piece. And when I'm piecing here, I'm gonna do it on a diagonal. That really helps eliminate bulk when you're, when you're doing these fabric tubes. I'm just gonna press this. Now the, the right sides are together here and I'm gonna sew this using a fourth inch seam, but I'm leaving a gap in the center. I, I leave that gap because when I put insert this tube to turn it, it's gonna have, because it's 56 inches, it's just gonna to be too much fabric just to get on this tube. And so I'm gonna to have to go at it both directions. I'm gonna turn this side of it first. And you see that white yarn laying there? That is what I'm going to be filling this tube with. Now to, to insert my wire, the wire has this little curly Q tip on it. I'm just getting my yarn ready. I think the hardest thing about this is getting that little wire in the tube because it's so wiggly. But once it's in there, you put it all the way through, lay your fabric over the end, and turn it and twist it up, and then it'll, it'll just go right in that tube. And I'm just touching that yarn, and that yarn is just gonna follow right along with it. It's so, it's so slick how it works, but the fiber does attract fiber, and so it, it's just gonna follow it right in. And now my, my, that part of my tube is complete and has, has the yarn in the center of it. 
Now to do the other side, I'm going to again insert my little cylinder right in the tube. And again, inserting my wire and then turning that little curly end up, turning my tube so that the right side is out. This time I have to pull the entire thing through. And now all that's left is to insert my tube one more time and get that, that yarn to go all the way through. And that's it, as simple as that. I still have a spot in the center that needs to be stitched. I'm gonna put clips on the end so I don't lose my yarn. But right here, I'm just gonna sew that um, with my sewing machine. And then I decided to cover that seam with a piece of lace. There's a lot of lace on this bag and I thought it would just really add a nice touch. And I just hand stitched that on. Now to add my grommets. I'm just using a fabric marker and just marking where I want that the holes to be. I'm going to be using a quarter inch grommets for this and it came in this little kit with the tools and I believe there's four different colors and I've chosen the silver ones and there's two parts to each grommet. Getting the other part of the tool out. Now there, there is a tool that creates the holes but I, I'm going to use my, my crocodile. Um, to to punch the initial hole, the hole the hole the cro the largest hole in the crocodile is I believe it's three sixteenths of an inch, and this is a quarter inch. But I like to start it with my crocodile, and then I'll go back and finish. And you'll see it. I, I use the tool that came with the kit to finish poking the hole a little bit bigger. Just giving it a few wax to increase that hole. And doing the same to the other side. Putting the first part of that grommet into the hole and then inserting the other part of this tool, pushing everything down and then putting the washer part of the grommet and then using this other this other part of the tool and just giving it a couple wax. It really they really go in quick and easy. And then on to the other one. Inserting my, my straps I'm trying the bag on now just to get the length the length correct And then it's just as easy as tying a knot where I want the strap
I hope you enjoy this project. Thank you so much, everybody. I love how this little bag turned out, and it's going to be mine. I'm going to use it this summer. Here's what it looks like, and a couple close-up pictures as well. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a chance to create. Bye for now.